Hey everyone, so I have a DVD review again today and this is House Bunny and I actually thought I'd review this already, I really should have reviewed it already which is kind of why I didn't rush to review it because I thought I did it so this would have been reviewed ages ago had I realised I hadn't done it so this is one of my favourite movies and it took me many many years to get the DVD this came out in 2008 in the cinema, I went in to see it two or three times, I can't remember specifically but I know I went in to see it a lot <laughs> uh, I really did love it so much and then I didn't ever buy the DVD until a couple of months ago which was really weird because I love watching it if it was on TV I'd watch it one of my favourite movies the main attraction for me was not the fact that it was Playboy related because that's weird it's Anna Faris this was actually the first thing I saw Anna in after she played Erica in Friends or I might have seen just Friends first and then I saw this but this was one of the first things I'd seen her in after Friends and I couldn't wait to see what she was like to play a different character other than Erica and I just fell in love with this straight away. It is a very girly film, you can see there. There are lots of pinks, lots of girly cover covers, girly colours. And it's just really beautiful. So she plays Shelly, who is a Playboy bunny, and she seems like a, a new Playboy bunny, but she's actually actually one of Hugh Hefner's favourites. Um and Hugh Hefner is actually in this. He is played by himself, which is really great, a really great asset to know that you have the biggest playboy person in the world in the the house bunny i think it's a really great thing um but she thinks a rival bunny sent her a note saying that she was getting kicked out of the house and she left she left the playboy mansion and she doesn't know what to do she's got nowhere to go so she stumbles upon zeta alpha zeta which is a sorority house which are in big trouble i will show you if there's a picture there isn't actually a picture of this just now and i'll talk about that in a moment but these girls are in danger of having their sorority house closed down because there's not enough members. Because these are what you could call social rejects. They're girls that are very different, very unique, which is a good thing. I applaud the fact that they're unique. But they're not your typical sorority girls. You know, you think sorority, you think short skirts, you think plaid, you think cashmere sweaters, you think, you know, things like that. These are totally different. You know, they're very... Some of them are quite aggressive, some of them are hyperactive, they're, one of them's pregnant, um, one of quite manly. <laughs> they're very, um, a peculiar bunch. Misfits, if you like, I don't like that word, but that's what one may call them. And Shelley stumbles upon them and she said, right, my project, this is what I'm going to do. If you let me live here, I will, I will help you get the sorority round and get you loads of members and get people to sign up. And that is her mission. So she has a house, so she has somewhere to stay. And she helps the Zeta Alpha Zeta girls get their sorority back on track. And to start off with, it's like, is anybody actually going to join up? Can one Playboy bunny really attract more people to sign up to Zeta Alpha Zeta? As the film progresses, you start to see a bit more prospect there and a bit more hope for them. Obviously, whether they, whether they get to keep their house open or not at the end, you can find out. But there are more members signing up. I will make that clear because it's not really a secret. But one member a week isn't going to make much of a difference. And then when you have a sort of little hearing at the end, it is sort of very touch and go whether or not they're going to actually get to keep the house or not. There are so many really lovely scenes in this. One I actually really love is when Shelley wakes up on her birthday and her cat Pooter, who is, who is there, comes in and she goes, Good morning Pooter, you're looking dapper. I'm a cat person so talking to cats is natural to me but I just absolutely love that scene. It's so, so funny. I also love the scene where she goes, Man hole. I also love that bit a lot. I laughed a lot of that. And I knew it was coming up when I went in to see it the second time. And I goes to my friend. And I goes, this bit, this next bit, this bit, that the bit that Shelly says next is the best thing you've ever heard. My friend didn't laugh. <laughs> I must just have a really fun imagination. But it is absolutely brilliant. The cast is fantastic. Obviously, Anna Faris, for me, is the main attraction, if you will, in this. Because she is absolutely brilliant. I love her so much. Um, Hugh Hefner, for a lot of people, would have been the main thing. I imagine a lot of guys went to see this because of the whole Playboy thing. It, it's not, you know, it's not a bad, it is a, what's the rating, it is a 12, so it's not too bad. It's not going to be like your page 3 in the Sun magazine or anything. It's, it's fairly decent. The most you'll see is swimsuits. You know, there's nothing more revealing than that. So it's, it's not completely Playboy fight, it's just Playboy themed. Um, Emma Stone plays Natalie, who is brilliant. I haven't seen her in anything else much than this. I've seen her in a few things. But as soon as I saw her, I was like, I like this actress. I'm going to look out for more things she's been in. And Dana Goodman plays Carrie Mae, who is one of the best actresses ever. She was in Bedtime Stories and a couple of other things I've seen. She's just really fantastic. Such a unique actress. I think she is great. Um, when they go through the transformation, when the, when the sorority 
the house goes through its transformation and they turn from unsociable to being a little bit like Shelley. It's quite a transformation. There is a picture, well, so you can see it right there. So it is quite, quite different. Um, really, really interesting. Another, another, another bit I loved is when Shelley first stumbled upon the, the big posh private sorority. I believe it's, it's across the road. It's nearby, and um, she asks if there was a place to stay. And the woman in charge, who is very, very prude, very uptight, very, very prim and proper, says this isn't a brothel. And and Shelley starts talking about soup, mistaking it for broth. I laughed a lot at that as well. There's a lot of funny things in this. I just think it is really brilliant, really interesting plot, very unique plot as far as films I've seen goes. As I said, the fact that Hugh Hefner is in it makes it just more exciting. The fact that you have the real Playboy God, if you like, in this. Anna Faris, brilliant. Emma Stone, Dana Goodman, the rest of the cast, absolutely fantastic. Really girly, really fun, just really brilliant. The DVD itself, I believe, I got it for £3 on Amazon, which is not a lot at all. Um, you can get it for five pound in HMV. It's it's really easy to get hold of. Really bright pink spine as well, so it looks brilliant on a DVD shelf. The DVD cover itself is a bit. The DVD, the disc itself is a bit weird. It's, you know, it's a really weird color. I just I don't think it really goes with the cover very well. But never mind. But yeah, one of my favorite movies, as I said, definitely worth seeing if you haven't seen it. You will love it, whether you're male or female. You will love it as long as you're over twelve. But yeah, please feel free to leave comments and let me know your thoughts on this or anything else. Any movie requests, let me know because I'm trying to do a lot more of them because I know I kind of neglect them. And I know my, my screen name is TV Critic Amy, but that's just the name. I do other things as well as TV. Not much, but I do, <laughs> I promise. Uh, yeah, but that's it for just now, so I'll see you all next time. Bye!